Hey guys, Coach Alex here with Coach Sue from Physique Development, and today we're going to go over the trap bar deadlift. Now, we have three options that we use with many of our clients here at Physique Development, um, and we're going to start with just the trap bar deadlift and the setup um, for this movement. Now, the first thing that we want to assess within the trap bar deadlift is going to be uh, assessing our active range. And so how we're going to do that is simply hinging at the hips, going into knee flexion, and finding where our bottom position is that we can still maintain tension in the glutes, the hamstrings, keep a neutral spine, and we're not seeing any rounding in the lower back or having to reach excessively to uh, the handles. Now, ways to fix this. Let's say that you are tr trying to perform the trap bar uh, deadlift and you have not this beautiful prime trap bar that adjusts with the handles, but you have um, one that is uh, fixed. And so you can elevate the, the plates with blocks under the plates to allow for the trap bar to fit your active range. But we have the handle set to what Sue's active range is. As you will see, she will come down and be perfectly aligned with the handles. Now, the, as she is grabbing the handles, our first thing that we want to uh, make sure is in place is that her, her head, her neck, and her spine are all neutral. She's creating abdominal tension and she's pulling herself into the handles to create a full body tension. From here, she's going to push through the floor and drive through, con uh, contracting her glutes. Now, what we'll show you is an air that can be very common within this movement specifically and individuals will go into hyperextension of the lower back and that's not what we want. We're putting ourselves in a position of, of possible injury. So I'll have Sue go through one more repetition for you guys to see through real speed. Excellent. Now, the second option within this movement is going to be elevating the heels. The reason that we would want to elevate the heels is to simply increase the amount of knee flexion that we're able to achieve. Now, we have the heel elevators from Prime Fitness here as well. And, and with this, uh, what you want to do in terms of turning them out is simply tracking the knees over the front of the toes. And with this elevation, we're eliminating any of the uh, tightness that we would be experiencing through the calf, which would be eliminating some of the knee flexion that we can achieve. So now Sue will follow the exact same mechanics that we just touched on, but we'll be going through a greater range of motion because of the heel elevation in place. Excellent. So those are two options that we have with the trap bar. Now, we can also perform the trap bar RDL. And this is simply going to be another way of using uh, this great piece of equipment to train the hamstrings and the glutes through a great range of motion. Now, what we'll do with this is simply picking up the trap bar, well, removing the, the heel elevation first, picking up the trap bar, creating abdominal tension, and now we're focusing on a small degree of knee flexion, but also just simply driving the hips back. Training the hamstrings and the glutes through a, the lengthened position and, and really taking them through a, a heavy loading as well. And those are three options that we have with the trap bar.